Hi, this is Math 1428, Remote Delivery for May 6, 2020. We're talking about content from Section 8.2 in your textbook, and the topic is Arithmetic Sequences and Series. Be sure to use these controls to maximize your learning. This is a song in my head this morning. When the night has been too lonely and the road has been too long, and you think that love is only for the lucky, and the strong. Just remember, in the winter, far beneath the bitter snows, lies the seed that with the sun's love in the spring becomes the rose. We can do this. Finish strong. Chapter 8.2 has a, a handful of learning objectives. For any given sequence, arithmetic sequence, you can find the nth term when n is given and the other way about. Find n when the nth term is given and Given any two terms, find the common difference and construct the sequence. Also, we will learn how to find the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence. So what is an arithmetic sequence? A sequence in which each term, after the first term, is found by adding the same number to the preceding term. So this is an example of an arithmetic sequence. 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, and 17, because each time you're adding, Three. These sequences are also called arithmetic progressions. Uh, an arithmetic sequence then says to find the next term, you take the term you're at and add d to it to get to the next term, and that happens for every term except the first term. So here's an example we're supposed to find for each of these arithmetic sequences. Identify the first term, uh, a1, and the common difference. So here, the first term has to be 4 because it is the four, first term. And I observe that I get the next term each time by adding 5, so the common difference is 5. Here, the first term is 34, and the common difference is minus 7. Because to get the next term, I always subtract 7 or add minus 7. Here, the first term is 2, and the common difference is 1 half because to get the next term, I always get uh, add 1 half. Uh, here's an exercise for you to try to test your understanding. Now we also want to find a formula for the general or nth term of, the, of an arithmetic sequence. And so if we say the common difference is d, we see that I get um, a1, but then I get a2 by adding d. I get a3 by adding d yet again. I get a4 by adding d yet again. And you see what, I, what is emerging with these examples is the formula that the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is given by a n is equal to the first term, a1, plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So here is another example called 2. Find the 14th term in this arithmetic sequence. Well, the first term is 4, the difference is 3, and n is 14. So we can use the formula. The only thing we uh, don't know is a14. So we do the calculation and we find that a14 had to be 43. The 14th term is 43. Here's an exercise you can try to test your understanding. Example 3 says in the sequence of example 2, and that's this one, I repeated it here, uh, which term is 301? That is, find n if a n is equal to 301. Well, we're going to use the same formula right here, but the 301 goes over here. That is what a n is. a1 was uh, 4, and d was 3. The only thing we don't know is n. So this is an equation in n that we solve, and we find n is 100. So the term 301 is the 100th term of the sequence. Here is an exercise you can do to test your understanding. Another objective is given two terms and their places in an arithmetic sequence. Can you construct a sequence? So here we know the third term is 8 and the 16th term is 47. You want to find a1 and d and construct the sequence. All right, well, we know that a3 is 8 and a16 is 47. That means the difference between 16 and 3 is 13. So we had it to add D 13 times to get from 8 to 47. So the term 47th term is going to be 8 plus 13 times D. We solve this for D, and we find that D is 3. 
Now, A3 was 8, but uh, to get back to A1, we had to subtract D twice. And so we do that, and we find out that uh, A1 then has to be 2. So now we know A1 is 2, and we know that D is 3. So we can write the sequence this way. Here's an exercise to try to test your understanding. Now I need to break here to make the rendering happen, so this is to be continued. See you soon.